uh, would you recommend coming to your store in person to get measured, or are the online instructions going to give the same result? Sure. I wish more people could come to our store. We're only one small shop in Pennsylvania, and we deal with people all over the country, so. Yeah. Uh, frankly speaking, we don't meet 90% of our customers. Sure. Yeah. Um, the majority of our customers just, you know, either contact us via email and we go back and forth once or twice. They'll call us on the phone if they have questions, or they'll just put the order straight through the website. What we are trying to do, I'm going to go kind of macro high level here for you. What we're actually trying to do on the website is give as close to an in-store experience and a personal experience that we can without you having to actually travel here. That's why we do all these videos. That's why we do all the Q and A's. Right. We want the customers to have the advantage of speaking to us and our knowledge and interaction with us without having to travel to get here. Um, on the website, we have uh, measuring instruction videos. We have very, very easy to follow instructions because we know that we're not probably gonna meet you. Right. And we wanna make sure that your kilt fits as best it can. And I'm very proud to say, knocking on wood as I say this, um, that in 15 plus years of business, I can count on one hand the number of kilts we've gotten back that have not been, you know, sized properly. Hmm. You know, it's, we have a very, very easy to follow instructions on purpose. Now, that being said, we've actually had customers who will say, uh, I wanna make sure I get it right. I'm gonna to go to today's man, or I'm gonna to go to men's warehouse or a men's no, store no, 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 and be measured by them no, just no, to make no, no, sure no, no. they get it right. Generally, we don't advise that. Mm -mm. The people in those stores they are very nice people. Mm -hmm. However, they have their idea of how you're supposed to be measured, and they have their idea how they're gonna do it, and they're not necessarily going to follow our instructions. Right. On top of that, they don't, you know, I'm going to be crass about it. They don't care if it fits or not. It's not their True. money on the line. It's right. yours. Right. So just the, the measuring instructions on our website really, really are easy to follow. Mm -hmm. Just double check that your tape measure is accurate and follow the measuring instructions on the website and you won't have a problem. And if you do have any questions, again, we're always here for help. Just either drop us an email or give us a call. We're happy to help. Yeah, I think that's the, 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 the important thing is to know that you are backstopped. We will double check things with you uh, as best we can. And whenever we get an order, and if the measurements seem a little off to us, just when we read them, we will call you, usually within 24 hours, and say, hey, are you sure this is what you want? Do you want to remeasure? Um, about the tape measures, I do think it's a good point to make that um, tape measures do stretch over time. So not all tape measures are accurate. If you have a tape measure that was mom's and you just stole that out of her sewing room, 20 years ago, spend $1.50, you know, at, at the convenience store or whatever and get yourself a, uh, a new tape measure. It's totally worth the investment to make sure you have an accurate tape measure to do the measuring with. Yeah, or um, take a retractable metal tape measure, like a carpenter's yeah. tape measure. Yeah, that'll work fine. And lay your tape measure next to it and make sure it matches up at the zero end and at the 60 inch right. end and it matches up the entire way through. Mm -hmm. And uh, best of all, have a second pair of eyes on it. Have somebody help you with the measuring so you have another brain besides your own working on making sure everything seems kosher. Yeah, now and on the website, in the measuring instructions section, we'll actually give the waist and the hips, it's kind of on you to understand the directions. Again, they're simple. The length is really the trickiest one to do. Mm. So we actually have a chart there with a waist and length comparison guide. So if you are six foot tall, you should be about 24 inches for the length. Or if you're five foot nine, you should be about 23 inches for the length. <clears throat> That's also at, so A, you have something to aim for. You know, mm -hmm. it should end up around this. Yeah. B, when you submit your order, we actually ask as one of the questions uh, when you're filling out the form for the kilt, what is your height? Because when it comes through, to Eric's point earlier, um, we're gonna backstop you. So if you say your length is 19 inches and you're six foot eight, we're gonna call you and say, do you know that's a mini kilt? We want to make sure that, you know, we can't stretch it and make it longer. We want to make sure that you're actually getting <laughs> the length. might be showing more than you want with that particular length. <laughs> yes, you're being a bit risque, shall we say. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we're here to backstop you and try to make sure it's a flawless experience. Again, we're, we're talking about how we do business because it's what we know. Uh, I'm sure there are other reputable kilt makers out there who will try and offer a similar level of service. Um, but never hesitate to talk to them in person if you can, you know, over the phone, email. Uh, if you're within range of our shop, by all means, we'd love to see you and come on in and visit us anytime. 
Uh, we do have people who travel here from easily up to like an 11 hour drive away, uh, which is very flattering. And we want to make sure that you get the best service possible. And yeah. I'm getting all choked up. <laughs>